are, everybody. It's Friday. It's 2 o'clock. You know what that means, right, Santa Clarita? Are you waiting for him for an answer, Doug? <laughs> it's the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John on Santa Clarita's hometown station, AM 1220-K-H-T-S. This is radio. We can ask questions, and we don't really have to wait for yeah. answers. You know that, right? It's like, so, Doug, so how, how you doing, man? Everything good? Great, yeah. Love the weather. Love the weather. Outside. Oh, I hate it. Where's the, the drought's summer? over, right, baby? The drought's the over. The drought is over. Yeah, I'm sure. You know why? Why? <laughs> well, because... Um, Last Saturday, before yeah. the Pacquiao fight, I had a couple hours to kill. Yeah. I thought, you know, it's been a couple months. Maybe it's time for me to wash my car. Ooh. So it's my fault. I am the cause of the drought. <laughs> I am convinced. <laughs> if people want to contribute to save the drought fund, John will have a very clean car. Right? Still? That's a good idea. That's a good not idea. Not after today. Not Probably not after today. So, hey, yeah. um, how was it like 70 years ago? What are you talking about? Well, I'm sure you were there. 70 years ago? Yeah. Not quite. Oh, come on. No. You don't remember Victory Over Europe Day? No. I read about it, though. You weren't in Times Square kissing the nurse? No. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right. The other thing. I have, so I have a list. I have a list of things to pick on you I, about I can today. tell. That was, that was, I can tell that, that, that was nice. I, I saw in, you take a little bit of a shot at me in your rant in the Gazette. Me? Well, a little bit. I called you out last week. You did? Because I wanted you to explain so to I me the So I had to day. call you out a little. Yeah, and, and you did a really poor job. Oh, good. You went completely extremist still, and you missed several steps in between. All right. Okay. Show me the error my way. I don't think you realize that I know debt's bad. Okay? I understand oh, the I was, national debt is bad. hoping you realize. Of course I realize it, okay? But you went from the debt's bad to anarchy. No, I went from why the debt's bad. No, no, no. Last week, you were... That's bad. Survivalists, I'm moving to Wyoming, building a compound and saving up de uh, dehydrated no, that was, food. that was Robert Patrick. Oh, yeah, there's that too. <laughs> but no, you were the same way. And I'm going, no, you don't understand. People don't. People aren't going to listen to you being an alarmist. They're going to listen to you logically saying, hey, look, right. if we don't do something and, now, yeah. these are the type of things that can happen. Right. And that's what I tried to point out. You did a horrible yes. job. Thank you. What I tried to point out was... <laughs> This, what could that happen? The st I think so. <laughs> okay. What could happen, and the reason that it could happen, and if we, and maybe the part that I didn't include that I should have, is we could take steps. You took a to, massive uh, step. I know, but we could take could if we had the right people leading the country. Ah, we could change the course. But right now, if we don't change anything, you have to agree with me that we could head right to where I wrote about. Well, I think... If nothing changes. I, 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 th I think, okay, and if you're saying what I think you're saying, what we practiced you saying earlier... <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't either, because it's all kind of spontaneous as it is. Uh, no, if you're saying that, hey, look, debt's bad because it's going to take away... Right now, and, and I think you and I both are in agreement that we're in a very... Uh, we're very much in a an entitlement society. Right. If people love... Uh, millennial, what did I hear today? Millennials are upset having to pay 99 cents for an app. Right. They want it free. Really? Come on, people. It's less than a buck. But okay, They're, everybody wants something free. And when you see your neighbor get something free, what do you want? Something free. Yeah, exactly. So it just it perpetuates itself. I.e. looting in Well, Baltimore. you won't even do that yeah, one. I know. Um, kind of the same thing. But no, not even close. Uh, we're talking entitlements from the government. Right, okay. Okay. If you see your 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 neighbor getting a tax break because they're driving right. the same car you're driving, you want the same tax break. Sure, it's, of course. It, uh, it's human nature. Okay. And if you're going to sit there and say, well, yeah, but eventually those things are going to stop. Right. Okay. Because we won't be able to afford it because of right. this massive debt. Right. Okay. So far, we're in complete agreement. Okay. Okay. If you would have said, and because of this stopping of right. these entitlements, or these initially, I, I'm assuming initially they would be cut back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You would think that they would be cut back. Depending now, how bad it is, but yes. Depending, yeah, depending upon right. how bad and whether there's something drastic that occurs. But in normal circumstances, ideally, hopefully after the next election of the president, uh, these entitlements will be rolled back a little bit. And it'd be more, instead of entitlement from the government, it'd be the government entitling you to do it yourself. There you go. Okay, that's me. There you go. I, I'm running for president. On the Jimmy Buffett You ticket. just nailed it. But no, it, and, and if you say, hey, look, because if we don't take steps now, right. this is one of the out, right. this is one of the, 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 the end results that I could see occurring. Yeah, but let me ask you this. If nothing changes and we keep on the path that we are now by growing the debt by billions a week, 
Could it result in what I wrote about? Oh, yes. Okay, I, I, okay good. But see, d what you missed in all that, and the way you described it just now, is different than what you were talking about before. And the person who called you, what, a paranoid alarmist? Yeah. Okay. I think if you would have sat down and said, hey, look, if we continue down this path, this is one of the various w things that could occur. Right. In addition to, you know, if we don't stop, we don't change our ways, we're heading down a path that could lead to something like this. Right. The more... The more Unrealistic, the outcome. Because you, you made the outcome seem very realistic. You see, the outcome. You made it seem as though the outcome was realistic tied. or pessimistic. No, re <laughs> you said in your viewpoint it was realistic. This is what's going to occur right. if we don't if, do this. If nothing changes. If we don't do this, this will occur. Yes. Well, there's a lot of ifs in that statement. Sure. And I think if you would have said, if you would have said, uh, if I hey, look, hey, this is what's happening. This is where it could lead. We need to take steps to change it. I'd be happier. Oh, I want you to be happy, John. I know, that's your goal, <laughs> isn't it? Wow. <laughs> Let me put that in writing. <laughs> Doug wants John to be happy. D Doug thinks John is right. So far, we're two for two. What else you got? Is this my birthday or something? Did I, not know? I, I say we're out of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quick, before you say something else nice about me. You like my shirt now, is that it? <laughs> well, all right. Well, right, you listen to the Gazette Radio with Doug and John on AM 1220 KHS, Santa Cruz Hometown Station. Who do we have coming back? Something important, I'm sure. Yes. All right, we'll be back. We are back, everybody, on the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John, the Gazette Radio Digest version. Or the ri the ri <laughs> <laughs> this, this break we just had got me off track. Anyway. The Radio Digest, Digest version, version of the, of the Santa, Santa Cruz Gazette and Free Classified. On AM 1220 KHTS. For all you need to know to be in the know. Now, yeah. we've got something very important, something very exciting on the phone. Somebody, some, somebody. Concur, concur. Yes. Maria Goodsight. Maria, you're there, right? I hope. Yes, I wow. am. Maria. Hey, um, I hear we have a special announcement that you made just the other day. No, it's not the royal baby kind of announcement, right? No. Okay, good. No. <laughs> so, you, you are, are officially running for Congress. I am. I'm very excited. Have you said that out loud to yourself a couple times? It's kind of scary, isn't it? But <laughs> no, it's it's a fabulous and exciting, and I'm just ready to roll. So, all right, uh, I'll ask the first question, Doug, because we I won the arm wrestling match. Uh, the question I have on my mind is, why would anybody subject themselves to this? Well, you guys know that I have been long interested in this community and all of our issues here. And I think the number one thing that comes back to is our small businesses, our families, which is my life, my husband, everyone here, still kind of feels like Washington isn't listening to them. Uh, we try to make the mortgage. We try to make pay the bills, pay the payroll. And we hear them arguing about all these special interest topics. And no one says, hey, what about us? What about the middle class? And I think it's about time that somebody do, does say that. Maria, um, some would say, though, that because you're running on, on the Democratic Party, correct? Correct. Okay. Some would say that your party has taken away the dream or the ease of what you're talking about, that it's the Republicans that will be able to uh, make life easier and better for the middle class. Well, first of all, those that know me know that I'm a problem solver. I'm not going to, and we've had enough of my party says this, your party says that. I am a Democrat. I am also a small business owner. I'm also a mom. And my number one concern is helping the people that aren't having a good um good time, even though they're doing everything right, hardworking families are not getting ahead, and we need to talk about that exclusively. If you're working hard, if you're doing everything right, you know, how are you going to pay for college for kids? How, you know, how is raising taxes going to hurt a small business owner? We need to have that discussion, and that's what I want to talk about. So you wouldn't call yourself a far-to-the-left Democrat, from what I'm hearing? No. No, uh, no, I wouldn't. Um, you sound more like a centrist. I, I am a centrist. Um, I think, you know, going back to the Democratic thing, I think my opinion is a rising tide lifts all boats, very cliche. 
But I would just like to see everybody doing a little better and not struggling so much. And I will fully admit right now, um, you know, the economic indicators sound good, but I feel like families are still scrambling, and I'm tired of having that not be discussed. Well, let me ask you this. Would you agree that businesses are over-regulated and overtaxed? I think that we need to have some regulations, and then they need to be enforced. I think having lots of regulations and lots of taxes um, hurts the people that are generating money in our economy and that are small business owners trying to support their families, support a modest, you know, amount of employees. We need to focus on protecting the environment, protecting um, the communities, but the burden should not be falling on the small business owners right. and the families. Right. So, Maria, what other do you have? Any, do you have? I, I've always thought that that it seems like congressmen, whenever time, every time they get elected, they have a pet issue. Do you, have, do you have a pet issue? Do you have the one thing that you're really, really interested in and, and would really fight for when you get there? Yeah, my pet issue is I want to talk about nothing except for good-paying jobs. Oh. That's my pet issue. Very cool. Is that going to be just for, or just as a, I mean, how is Congress going to be able to, to afford to do that? I mean, we're we talking raising the minimum wage and things like that? Um. Raising the minimum wage is something that I think needs to be done. Where I think more of the focus is needs to be on the jobs that let people live and raise a family in Santa Clarita, in Simi, in Elo Valley. That right. is not a $15 an hour job. Right. We need to get more jobs here in the $35, $45, $75 an hour range. We need good paying jobs so that the families aren't struggling anymore. But, Maria, from what you had said about uh, a rising tide lifts all boats, is that what you, some would call the trickle-down theory, where you let the regulations go, not all of them, taxes go, so businesses are allowed to thrive, and that's the tide that's rising? I certainly want to see our businesses thrive. I am not of the mindset that the business owners are the bad guys. I'm a business owner. My husband owns his own business. We all have to go to work somewhere, and I have no problem with businesses because we need to keep our jobs here in the U.S., not having people flee this country and be getting uh, having our jobs go over to China and things like that. I um, very much want to see families be able to get a good-paying job here and have enough to send their kids to college and have a successful life. Absolutely. All right, we're talking to Maria Gutzeit, <laughs> congressional runner, I, 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 candidate. Candidate. Candidate, thank you. Everybody's looking at me like I'm an idiot because I couldn't remember the word candidate. Maria, can you hang on until after the break? We'd sure, like to talk I would to you love some more. to. Thank you. All right, great. You're listening to Gazette Radio. We're Doug and John on AM 1220, KHTS Santa Cruz Hometown Station. We'll be right back.